there's definitely been a vibe out there this year. You know, the 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 Cal's cookout for the fans is just, I think, one element of it. But I think we've seen it every day out there because we're out there covering the team. And fans who've been out of practice are a fraction of the fans who are going to be there at the stadium on Saturday. But there there is a very palpable effort, it seems like, for the team to uh, to connect with the fan base, connect with the city of Houston. Can you just talk about the the genesis of all that? Love to. We are evolving as an organization. I'm really excited and energized by it. It's a lot of fun to see it as it progresses. Uh, we're challenging each other. That's one of our mottos is challenge everything. We want to be trying new things. We want to be listening to the fans. The fans are the heart of where we want to be going. So we want to be listening to the fans. Um, they uh, have really enjoyed the new things we've been trying. Uh, the Red Helmets they've loved. The Miller Outdoor Theater, we've never had um, you know, a draft day party outside of any magnitude. Um, so we're trying new things. Some of them will work. Some of them won't work. But we want to sort of be fearless and try new things and uh, listen to the fans and respond to them. What we hear most from the fans is they want to win. Mm-hmm. And I think we have the pieces in place with uh, Nick and Coach Lovey and uh, their plan to put that together, and I have a lot of confidence in them. And I can't wait to watch watch it uh, as it progresses. Is it um, – when I try to put myself in your shoes, or really like any NFL owner's shoes, uh, it's – it seems <laughs> there's a lot of things I wouldn't be good at. Um, and one of them would be like listening to input at times, I think. I think I would try real hard. But when you, you've you been out amongst the fans a, a lot, I think by even NFL owner standards um, the last the last few months, has have people been frank with you? Have, uh, have you been able to kind of have conversations with people about what their opinions are? Well, I hope they give me their True feelings, but they've been very supportive. The fans have a lot of passion for the team. Um, they're they're fanatics. I mean, they're wonderful fans. There's a passion, and uh, they they want to see us win, mm-hmm. and they want to get behind us, and um, well, they want a team they're proud of, and we're committed to doing that. Cal McNair in studio with us here on Sports Radio Six Ten. You mentioned you mentioned Nick and Lovey, and Nick is Nick is somebody that had been on your radar radar for a while. Can you um, talk about when he first sort of got onto your radar as somebody who might be a, a, the, the right guy to, to lead this team? And what was it about Nick Casario long before he became here that might have drawn you to him? Oh, gosh. I haven't thought about that in a while. It's been a number of years uh, when we were looking at general managers uh, with, with dad was in the search. Mm-hmm. And Nick was at the top of our list. And uh, we were not able to interview him uh, due to the NFL rules, which sure. was fine. And then we tried again, and he wasn't available. And then uh, he became available, and so he was someone that had been on the top of my list. When I knew he was available, uh, we were very aggressive and went out and got him. But he's a premier personnel guy that we've seen that. And we've watched him and um, seen what he has done um, with uh, the former team he was with. Yeah, then they're really good friends of ours. So um, uh, we've worked through all that and um, got him here, and excited to see see him go to work. And he is just so focused on um, his job and and getting the team and getting the roster, and he's really good at that. So we're excited to have. Yeah, what's it like watching? Because you guys, we we saw the video. You guys were in the war room. What's that like watching him operate on uh, on draft day? Because you you you've been in a lot of NFL war rooms before with a lot of different people. Um, what, what can you tell us about Nick Casario in that environment? Well, it's sort of old school. He has very few people in there. Mm. Um, and he's, he uh, relies a lot on the, on the boards and moving names around, you know, by hand and he'll have his little group and, um, they'll, the head scouts and they'll say, okay, well, this is a group of players we like, and they're not afraid to move up and move down uh, Mm. to get someone out of that group. And then once you move out of that area, they'll form another group and they'll move up and down and and maybe I'm giving too much away, but <laughs> yeah, that's, he but, said all that. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, 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 yeah. What's that like? Is okay. That's always an interesting dynamic to me. And different owners handle it differently. But like, what's that like when you're there as an observer and you don't you don't want to get in the way, but you're also you're also the owner of the team. <laughs> like, it, do you have to try to do you have to bite your tongue sometimes, or when you're trying to when you can tell it's a hot moment and there's a lot of activity. Well, I, I love to observe it and stay out of the way. And, yeah. and uh, I just have a lot of confidence in Nick in watching him operate. Um, 
it just is sort of masterful, you know, and how, how he's doing it and moving around and, and getting the players he likes. And, and he's been good at it. He's had a couple of drafts uh, under his belt. And I'm really excited to see these, uh, his, sec- the, his first draft, which is entering their second year, how they progress with Nico and, and uh, the quarterback and all those guys, and, and also this draft and see how these guys are going to contribute probably a little later in the year. Sure. But um, a lot of times, ho- however far you go, will depend a bit about how your draft picks come along. Yep. And so we're excited to see yeah. that. 